Triad faith leaders are calling for change. They released a long statement denouncing the attack on the Capitol, saying those responsible for the chaos should be held responsible. I spoke to a few leaders about their hope moving forward. And there was nothing loving about that action on Wednesday. There was nothing just about that or faithful about that. That was the very definition of white supremacy. Triad faith leaders not mincing words when it comes to the events at our nation's capital this week. The commonality is that we are all appalled by the, the, uh, the hatred and the bias and the bigotry that was in there. These four represent a coalition of various religious denominations across the triad who set aside some differences to call out the actions of those who stormed the Capitol building. White supremacy means the belief that white people have dominion over anything and any place and any body, so much so as to enter that space with no thought of consequence. In a statement released Thursday, they question why enough security resources weren't put in place, writing, our country is apt to regard black protest as a threat, while white rioting is treated as an entitlement. Uh, certainly those who are responsible should be held accountable. And did not shy away from what they call America's dark legacy of white supremacy and Christian nationalism, as some involved in the chaos claim the Christian faith. As a white Christian faith leader, I am especially attentive to what this reflects about the long legacy of Christian nationalism, the notion that to be a good American is to be a good Christian and vice versa. These faith leaders want to bring the community together to talk about concrete solutions moving forward. It is time now for us to put into action, to be put into action things that we know will make uh, our nation, make our world a better place. So they plan to hold a series of virtual conversations. We need to work for change and we need to do it in the most loving and just ways that we possibly can. Now, if you would like to read the full statement, I will have that up on our website shortly. And they plan to release more information on those virtual conversations next week.